Hello and welcome back to the Trailer Fitters Toolbox, or actually the Land Rover Toolbox as we're known. We're having a look at the Lynx Diagnostic Tool. Let's just wait for it to catch up with us. This tool here is probably the most vital tool you'll need for EOBD diagnostics. This interface device, which plugs into your 16 pin socket in your Land Rover somewhere. The home edition is for one vehicle and it's not VIN locked. You need a laptop to use this system and in the box for the home edition is the same as what it is for the professional. The price is slightly different for professional use which is completely unlocked for all the Land Rover vehicles. LRTV have actually spent a little bit of time now with this diagnostic equipment on certain vehicles, Discovery 2, P38s and Defenders. Thanks has got to go to Britpart and especially Steve in the workshop who has shown us some in-depth things about this tool. On our window system, which is the only thing it will work on, the uh, Britpart Lynx is fantastic to be honest with you, I can't think of another word for it. As long as you've got at least 12 volts in your system it will connect and it won't crash out. It covers a very wide variety of Land Rover products and it works. Just from a quick glance you can see how much you've actually got available to you and just quickly dropping down here you've got the MEMS and the GEMS for the Rover P38. Earlier EOBD or OBD2 systems sometimes don't kick up a warning light and uh, using this system we've actually got into here and looked at the fault codes which are DTCs. This particular Defender we've just had a look at into the engine management system on a TD5 no warning lamp and there's a lot of faults up. Some of these are not relevant due to the fact that some equipment is actually not fitted. Clearing DTCs easy. The interface on the Lynx is very intuitive. It means it's quite easy to pick up and learn very quickly. Having a mess around with this and experimenting to see what sort of fault codes we could get up on it, we disconnected the uh, manifold sensor digging into the uh, ECU to see what it brought up and the manifold pressure fault active says it's right. The Lynx is capable of recording live data. As you can see here it will ask you to save captured data. Right, you have to put file name in here. Test injector roughness at idle and away we go. And what will happen is we can check this and see what indiscrepancies there are in the live data. There are different levels of diagnostic actually on this and um, one of these is reading what's going on as it's being used and again recording it while you're test driving is advantageous. Under the chassis we've got air suspension and the A system for the Discovery 2 and dropping back EMS engine management system we've either got the V8 or the TD5 that we can diagnose easy. The Lynx interface itself is very easy to use and understand. Diagnosing ABS problems, easy with this, uh, Wabco systems. Under the ABS system what we'll find also, we have special functions. This will assist with bleeding up brakes. Now what you can do is use the ABS modulator pump to actually bleed through your brakes. The power bleed facility will either let you do a short bleed which is modulator bleeding which will activate all the valves in turn and you can see this on the diagnostic interface here. This will prepare the system ready for actually bleeding it up. To assist with bleeding of the system especially when you've changed calipers or you want to change your brake fluid you can do this easily. Another feature of the special functions is the transmitters which is the uh, two button key fob. No need to tell you which vehicles are fitted with these. Very easy to set up your key fobs if you're putting a new one into the system however you have to have all your key fobs together and set them. It's just a matter of pressing them 16 times and away you go it will be set to your security system. If you're getting this for maintenance and diagnostics purposes then it's money well spent. If you have a group of people like a club and you invest in the professional one you can't go wrong because it will cover all the vehicles. For professional garages that are not exclusively doing Land Rovers but do a large range it's worth it. Replacing the ride height sensor on a Discovery 2 for instance or a P38 you need blocks for these and some of us can get around this maybe not 
But the Lynx itself will recalibrate the ride height and set it, it's pretty good and you need to do this if you're changing the sensor. This will overcome some of the sloppy repairs that do happen. Question asked on uh, our Facebook page, does it code injectors? Well in fact it does for the TD5, no problem, that will code injectors when you're replacing them. Each figure from the top of the injector needs to be put in manually so the ECM can make adjustments for the injector fitted. Looking at the V8s, in this case Range Rover P38 on the GEM system, what we're going to do is reset adaptations. This is the type of thing that will be done after you've changed an oxygen sensor. This way it can relearn what settings it has to run at and this is done as the vehicle is running. As the Lynx advised, it may require one or two journeys to automatically set this. In conclusion, the Britpart Lynx diagnostics interface is incredible. It's a fantastic tool. It's something that you can't do without these days with the EOB D2. So look into it. It might be worth your while to invest in it. <laughs>